Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different for the channel and that is a gear review video right here in the shop. So make sure at the end of this video that you uh, leave a comment down below and just let me know what you like or if you like this type of video. Um, if you do, I can continue to focus on bringing you a little bit more content like this. Um, or if you don't like it and you'd rather me focus on trip videos, uh, then that's what I will keep continue to focus on. So, uh, as any overlander knows, space becomes a premium in your vehicle. You gotta maximize every square, or every cubic inch um, of space. So, today what I want to review for you is the right line gear bags. These are some gear bags that, are, that have some vehicle specific applications, including the Jeep JK Wrangler, uh, of which I have a couple of their bags for. Uh, they do make them for some other Jeep models as well. And uh, I find that these bags are particularly handy um, because I can stash some gear in them and they stay in unused, otherwise unused places within the Jeep. So um, with that, I'd like you to bring you over to the Jeep, show you how the bags are currently installed then we'll bring them back here into the shop and I will unpack them for you here on this table uh, and just show you all of what I can carry in space that is otherwise unused. So yeah, if you do find this review helpful uh, and you're interested in these bags, um, I have included some Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, so that would give me a small percentage of your purchase in the bags, but uh, you don't pay any more. So with that, let's head to the Jeep. All right, so the first bag is this kind of tubular bag here that's strapped to uh, this uh, sport bar here. Uh, and it's held on by two clips, one at the bottom, one at the top. And the bag comes out very easily. The next bag is, uh, are these two bags here and they're situated on either side of the wheel well. Um, and they make really good use of uh, space that's really otherwise hard to, to get to, especially if you have a shelf like me here. So these ones are fixed with three different attachment points. One goes up to the sport bar there uh, in front of the rear cross member. Um, the second point here wraps just above the rear seat belt. I can take that one off now. And then the third one uh, wraps around the rear seat belt uh, retractor here down below. So as you can see uh, from the rear door, the rear seat, um, the main uh, access to these two side bags is through a zipper here at the front um, just beside your seat and the hard top. So I'll go ahead and take off this last strap and go do the same thing on the other side. Pull these two bags out, go back to the shop and I can show you what we carry in them. All right guys, well, we have all three bags out of the Jeep now. Um, so I'll bring you in and show you each of these bags. We'll start with this tubular bag. So all the right line bags here are created with a PVC uh, coated mesh fabric and the zippers are urethane coated and then everything is uh, welded seams. So they're fairly well constructed. We haven't had any sort of issues with the, the quality of the construction. Um, my first and really only complaint on the bags um, so far is that I wish that they would have included a little bit heavier duty zipper just because uh, you're really reefing on these sometimes they are susceptible to getting dust uh, and dirt in um, and to me quality bags uh, just need to have a little bit beefier zippers than uh, the bags otherwise may need. So this bag measures about 20 inches long about 8 inches across in diameter and it affixes to your um, roll bar with two adjustable straps. So the next two bag, bags I believe have a JK specific fitment um, and I'm not sure if they make an equivalent bag yet for the JL or not. If, I, if they do, I'll look it up and I'll make sure that the link's down below in the description as well. So um, the first reason I got these bags is because I've always found it hard to utilize that space over the sloping wheel well. Uh, it's very difficult to reach to from the back of the Jeep and it's hard to stuff stuff in from the back seat without having it just fall down into the rear cargo space. So these uh, really fit that necessity for me. So you can see that they are fairly contoured um, specifically to that space. 
These ones, like we showed in the Jeep, are affixed with three different straps. One around the uh, roll bar just ahead of that rear cross member, one over your seat belt. Um, and I was really surprised that this one didn't fall off. I expected it to bounce around, I expected it to fall off, and we've never had that problem. Uh, and it doesn't obstruct the, the uh, functionality of that seat belt in any way either. Um, and then this last one, it was very difficult to see in the um, video while it was installed in the Jeep, but your seat belt retractor um, sits right here and this goes around it um, and firmly affixes it from front to back. So again, uh, this is constructed uh, fairly well, uh, just like this other tubular bag that we showed you um, earlier. And uh, these two come as a set, so they are a little bit more expensive. Um, so again, um, these bags are kind of a mirror image of each other. And the way that I have them installed is this would face to the inside of the Jeep. And so there is an additional um, kind of elastic pouch. We just keep some hand sanitizer, wet wipes in there. There is another small zippered pouch. Um, because this is so concealed in my specific Jeep application, don't tend to use these pockets much at all. Um, and then the main storage area is a very good size and it's accessed by two different zippers. One uh, across the top here. And again, it's uh, concealed by my shelf in the Jeep, so I don't end up using this zipper at all. Uh, but what comes in really handy is that there is a zipper that allows you to access it from the rear seat. So you can just reach back in here and you have this kind of cavernous bag. Uh, now I'm gonna take you through uh, what we typically pack into each one of these bags um, for our trips. Right now these have a bias towards wintertime um, snow conditions. So they will change throughout the year, but uh, this is kind of a worst case scenario um, in terms of the, the cold weather gear that we were, we're carrying right now. Uh, that is quite bulky as you all know. So uh, this tubular bag, I typically carry my own cold weather gear and spare clothing uh, that I don't typically need to access, but I like knowing that it's there. Uh, Liz has this bag. I kind of let her use it for whatever she wants. And uh, so I believe she carries some extra clothing. We'll take a look here in a second. And then the bag that I carry behind, uh, like on the driver's side, uh, between the, or behind the rear seat, is used for uh, map books and other kind of paper literature uh, that I like to have available uh, when we're camping or exploring, but don't necessarily um, need to access on an everyday basis. So with that, we'll start unpacking them. So let me clear off the table here. Let's start with this bag. So in this uh, elastic pouch on the outside, I do have a few extra wet ones. <laughs> Let's check to see if there is anything in this little pouch. No, nothing. I don't typically use that. It's just too hard to access while it's in the Jeep in my specific application. Uh, but for most of you, I think this uh, pouch does add a little extra value as well. So just to open it up. So I've got a few unread magazines uh, from our last camping trip. So some Overland journals that I haven't read yet. Got to get out camping more so that I have some time to read. And then I carry my complement of Backroads map books um, and other um, tourist guidebooks. So as you can see, there are quite a few in here. Sorry for the mess. other kind of literature, my firewood permits when I'm out getting firewood, just other paper map books, Some more back roads map books, kind of folded maps, and even operating manuals for some of my portable radios. And that is pretty much it. So as you can see, uh, it held one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, back roads map books and three good sized magazines and a bunch of other stuff. So very, very handy um, for us uh, in our trips. Let's 
So I'll just clear the table here and grab the next bag. So the next here is Liz's bag. And again, in this little elastic pouch, we've got a few, well these feel dry, moist wipes. Probably should replace those. And again, nothing in this little pocket. It's hidden, this side's hidden by our, uh, my toolkits and stuff like that, so can't really access that. Opening this up, oh, she does a much nicer job folding her clothes than I do, but she's got extra sweater, some mitts, a rain jacket, spare hat, a toque, Some rain pants, some thick wool socks, some thinner athletic socks. I can actually lay this out so you can actually see exactly how much goes into here. She has a bit of a puffy vest. A set of snow pants. Liz really doesn't like being cold. And, oh, another compressible um, down jacket. So yeah, so that's it. But I mean, quite a bit of gear um, that she can configure any way that she wants on that side. So again, let's just, I'll drop this bag, push all this to the side, and then I'll open up uh, the last bag, so. All right, last but not least, is this tubular bag. It is the first bag that I actually had uh, and kind of what led me to buy these other ones just because I, I knew, knew how much um, these things could hold and just how precious that space uh, is that they give you. So looking in this small pouch, uh, as with the other ones, I don't have anything in there, um, but I mean, it, you'll certainly find a use for it, I'm sure. This one only has a singular zipper into the one big compartment. And uh, let's just see what I got in here. So I do carry some heavy snow pants for those winter recoveries. I have a fairly thick Gore-Tex uh, winter jacket. I have a couple pairs of socks as well. So um, some wool socks and then just some cheap Jeep cotton socks. I carry a, a rain shell the hood for my Gore-Tex jacket. Oh, that's where all my socks go. Another pair of wool socks. And typically, yeah, a pair of gloves. So here we are. I normally would have a toque in there too, but I probably stole it at some point and, and forgot to put it back. And is that it? That looks like it's it. So I'll lay everything out here on the table and just show you exactly how much we're carrying um, in space that's otherwise unutilized. And wow. There you have it. Um, almost need a bigger table just to show you all of what we're carrying. Uh, and again, this is all space that's unutilized in most people's Jeeps. So this all fits in just three of these bags here. So um, the reason I chose this as my very first review is it's a product I've been using for at least two or three years now. Uh, haven't had any problems with them. Uh, I feel that they are very well made. I don't think that they're uh, made locally or anything. I think they're just they're coming from China, but they're spec'd out very well. Um, again, zippers could be better, but still haven't had a problem with them. And for just how much versatility that they add, they are amazing. I know that there are other companies that make better quality bags um, and kind of made locally, made in North America. And uh, I have no doubt that they're a little bit better uh, than these bags, but for the price, these ones I feel cannot be beat. So feel confident uh, in picking yourself up a set uh, if you like, or uh, look for some other options. But uh, this type of storage is invaluable in, in an overland build, uh, especially for the Jeep JKs. So thanks everyone for watching. Again, if you made it this far and you like what you see, make sure you're leaving a, uh, a like down below. Uh, subscribe if this is your first time and uh, let me know what you think of this type of uh, review video. So 
Do you want to see more of them? Um, and so if you do or not, please leave a comment below. And thank you very much. Bye, guys.